कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार के सोरे की गांड फट गई वर अपेरली हेयरिंग दैट जी टी एस सिक्स माइट कॉस्ट मोर देन सेवेंटी डॉलर ये वर्ग ना बी टॉक इन अबाउट इट बिकॉज इफ दिस टर्न आउट टू बी ट्रू You know that sick is gonna be beefing, sick is gonna be bitching about it. Everybody's gonna be complaining. We're gonna make videos on it. But since we're talking about GTA 6, I guess everybody's still gonna buy it. But guys, like the video if you don't want the game being more than sixty dollars. We also got GTA 6 online stuff that I want to talk about. We got another leak. We gotta talk about the trailer too. We gotta talk about the Lucia Bruna. Is that getting nerfed out? Is that not getting nerfed out? We're gonna get into this one. Roll it. Time for an update video, especially since some crazy things got leaked not yeah. too long ago. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Jimmy or Chaos, and this is another GTA 6 update video. This is going to go over all of the stuff that leaked okay. recently about Rockstar's new game, as well as some stuff that was confirmed by Take Two and Rockstar directly wow. that you may have missed. Wow. So you guys let me know in the comments if you're excited wow. for GTA 6. Drop a like, yeah, and yes, shaking. we will absolutely be covering uh, the game. So first things first, let's talk about the updated release window because yeah. we actually got some official news on that front from Take Two Interactive themselves. Dog, That's this is crazy, right? So they have confirmed Fall 2025, which does fall. No pun intended. Bruh. It does fall under you know uh, October, November, September as well. And a lot of people are believing. A lot of people are kind of praying right now, and a lot of people are also beefing about it as well. That is it going to be coming out in September? Is it going to be coming out in October, November? I really hope it does. But you never know. Rockstar might pull like a Uno reversal. They might pull a Psych, and they might actually delay to 2026. So you guys gotta factor in that as well. You need to factor that as well. But right now, it is looking like that it's going to be coming out by the end of 2025. And if that's the case, dog, we're also Hearing the next Call of Duty game, the next Battlefield game is also coming out around fall. So, bruh, like it's looking bad for those games because we, oh, yeah, we talking GTA 6. It's Rockstar's it. parent company that will be publishing GTA 6. They've okay. been paying most of the development bills so far, according to a recent earnings report from Take Two. The company is currently planning on launching GTA 6 in the fall of 2025, which is still a bit broad, but it's way less broad than the simple 2025 that Rockstar gave us in their first trailer. To yep, quote the report yeah, yeah. directly, as we enter, I just hope that they do not delay it. We're gonna skip on this one. I want to get down to the leaks as well and the, the the pricing as well. But I really hope they do not delay it till 2026, man. Drop. But that's the GTA 6 effect. Now, in addition to the fall 2025 release date, we also got information about the price tag from Take uh -oh. Two themselves. Uh oh. But this report is a bit less direct and it isn't set in stone the way the release window was. The CEO of Take Two was recently asked in an interview about his stance on game prices, and while he specifically was asked about the prices of the upcoming GTA 6 and Borderlands 4 games, he refused to put any hard numbers on anything. He also made a very strange comment about how whenever Take Two Interactive sets a price for one of their games, it's a good thing for players because it means you're getting a more valuable experience. Well. I don't know about you guys. Yo, you need to pump the brakes on this one. What do you mean, bro? Like, you you think it's gonna charge us more than seventy? You think it's gonna charge us more than seventy on this one? Y'all think it's gonna go pound sand on this one, bro? If this If this really happens, did I really say y'all suckers can go pound sand on this one? Uh, okay, well I was looking at the beach, and I've been to the beach actually uh, in Miami like a couple of days ago. Uh, I did not see the NPC spam like this crazy, but of course I was on a day when there was flood as well. A flood happened a day earlier, so y yeah, maybe due to that there was there wasn't that many people. But nonetheless, right? Bruh. If this game is more than seventy dollars, if this game is eighty dollars, if this game a hundred dollars, bro, we're gonna be all bitching about it. We're gonna be complaining. We're gonna be beefing. Everybody gonna be fighting. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna get a controversy. Yeah, the controversy is gonna be crazy. Everybody's gonna make videos about it, and rightfully. Objectively speaking, this game should not be more than seventy dollars. Like, holy crap, what are we doing here? But we're talking GTA 6 here, so the rules are not the same for GTA 6 uh, in comparison to other games, right? What are we thinking? In no way, I'm defending a price tag, assumingly if it's more than seventy dollars. In no way, I'm defending then defending that. There was a running meme as well. I'm not sure if you guys actually heard this or not, but there was a running meme uh, that happened, you know, a, a while ago because. 
because we heard that this game, <laughs> but you know they're look they have a budget of two billion dollars, man. <laughs> Can a brother get two pennies? I'm all at, I'm just asking for two pennies, dog. But there's there was a running joke with it that suckers are gonna and the running joke happened because Take Two was also talking about renting their games. You know, you can rent the games per hour and whatnot. Right. Yes, yeah, so there was a running joke that, hey, pay $5 and play GTA 6 for one hour. Can you imagine? Pay $5, play the game for one hour. So, yeah, people actually made that meme based on based off of what Take-Two Boss said. Because he he loves renting. There needs to be a renting service. Uh, pay, per, uh, pay for hours, right? I mean, the idea does sound kind of odd. It, uh, hear me out. For somebody that is looking to try out the game before they make a purchase, right? Because how many times you get an incomplete mess at launch? Exactly my point. So maybe you want to play the game for an hour or two, try it out, and pay maybe like two bucks to try it out, right? And if you like it, okay, yeah, then go ahead and pay the full price and get the game. Yeah, okay, on that I like it, but of course, we're talking about these corporations. They are really <laughs> going to take advantage of this. They're really going to manipulate the fans. They're really going to dunk on the fans. And, and yeah, and after that, of course, it's gonna spawn in a lot of angry fans, and we're gonna have a lot of people bitching about it. People gonna be beefing. We're gonna be beefing. You are gonna be beefing. I'm gonna be beefing. We're all gonna be beefing. Abs absolutely. But wait for it. But to me, that sounds an awful lot like Take Two testing the waters on potentially charging more money than usual for their upcoming games. I'm reading between the lines here, specifically GTA 6. There's a very good chance. The GTA 6 launches for more than $70. And I know that's going to yeah. piss a lot of you off. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but they know what they have. And they know uh, there really is no way for failure. Yeah, they got the Lucia Burna though. And they got other Burnas in the game. Like, that might be... Nah, man. No Burna is worth more than $70, bro. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to agree. I refuse to believe it. As a brown man, I'm a simple man. Give me the Lucia Burna. <laughs> And all the Buddhas in the game for uh, 70 dollars. Okay, like the video if we're on the same page, guys. I hope we're on the same page, but I know we're talking GTA 6 and y'all suckers gonna be like, me, I, I don't want this game to be $100, but as soon as we have the game coming out and it's like $100, uh, Rockstar, uh, have my balls, have my D, have my B babies, I uh, have all my money as well. Yeah, bro, like, that's like the gamer's uh, mentality 101. Guys, don't do that, man. Even if you're ready to pay more than $100. Don't let these seconds know. Don't let these seconds know, bruh. $70 or else, bro. $70 or else, Unless bruh. the game just completely launches broken and nobody can play it, they do. They can charge whatever they want for the game. People are going to buy it, but they're probably currently weighing out the possible bad press that would come with charging $80 or uh, more for the base version of the game. The obvious one would be to make as much money as possible after sinking an estimated $2 billion into its development. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you let me know in the comments. Man. Would you pay more than $70 Man. for GTA 6, or would you wait for a sale at that point? I'm hard-pressed uh, to nah. think most of you are going to come up and drum up $70. You're Please say psych right now. And nobody's going to wait, though. And nobody... We're talking GTA 6, man. This is a game of the century. Seconds have waited so long, man. I mean, for crying out loud, these seconds that take two, they deployed aliens. They deployed the action. Okay, on aliens, I'm joking. But they deployed FBI. I'm not joking. They, deploy, they deployed FBI in order to find the guy that leaked the Lucia Burna Bruna. Bruh. Like, what are we talking about? And then there's another leaker that they're trying to investigate. Y y yeah, right, apparently GTA 6 trailer. You remember, right? The first, the very first GTA 6 trailer that got leaked out. It got leaked out a day before and somebody leaked it though. <gasps> Yay! And they're trying to find out who leaked it. We're gonna get down to that part as well. What about GTA 6 trailer too? Yeah, right? When is that coming out? I want to talk about that too. You're not gonna wait for months and months to get it on sale. So in addition to the release window and the price tag, the Take-Two CEO also recently confirmed some details about the PC version of GTA 6 because apparently this dude is the Tom Holland of the video game industry, constantly spilling the beans on things he's probably supposed to keep secret. When asked in a recent interview about the decision to not announce GTA 6 on PC, Mr. CEO said he was Bruh. basically leaving the ball in Rockstar's court for that. Yeah. But the reason this is such a Tom Holland moment was because at the time that he said it, yeah. Rockstar hadn't even acknowledged the PC version existed in the first place. So when he <laughs> you, you know what he has been <laughs> he has been very very good not letting uh, us know about anything oh damn we got born get theft auto right now we got get to stand here let's actually skip it to what he should have done is okay we're gonna pause it here 
right? Yeah. But now, nah, uh, Take Two boss has been very good in hiding and keeping things secret. But this is one of those things where he just let himself go. And, and you know what? We we love him for that. We love him for that. I guess PC version confirmed. Don DeMarco, real quick for that. Boys. Just dodge the question or change the subject when asked about GTA 6 on PC. He simply said he was going to let Rockstar make those kinds of announcements. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like confirmation that GTA 6 is coming to PC after all. And after how popular GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 are on PC, this isn't a shocker, it's not a surprise, but I know there's been a little bit of confusion over the PC version of the game recently, oh, yeah. so oh, yeah. you can probably take oh, this yeah. as your 100% confirmation that the PC version will come out eventually, it just most likely won't be there on launch day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I told yeah. you in the beginning of the video, we have leaks, or hacks, or both. You guys remember the infamous GTA 6 trailer leak, right? The day before the first GTA 6 trailer was yeah. supposed to yeah, come yeah. out, the whole yeah, yeah. leaked thing on Twitter yeah, yeah. was there. I mean, uh, buy Bitcoin, watermark, right across the middle. Obviously, Rockstar and Take-Two weren't going to let that happen without consequence, and according to some new reports, the hunt for the leaker may be coming to an end. Mm. According to a recent report, the leaker is a threat actor who goes <laughs> by the online name of Skinker, and uh, the leak was accomplished by gaining access to Rockstar's YouTube. Man, these sickers are acting like that. He leaked the NASA alien files. They're acting like that. He killed somebody. <laughs> Bruh, what are we talking about? The poor guy just leaked the Lucia Burna. The poor guy. I, I mean, the poor guy. Uh, um, you know the guy that leaked the uh, Lucia Burna uh, September 2022. Yeah, that was a poor guy as well. But this also is a poor guy. Bruh. So what people got to see the Lucia Burna, bro? So what people got to see the game trailer one day early? So what? I get it, it's a disappointment, and of course I'm not like trying to say like, hey, go ahead and leak everything. No, 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 absolutely not. I, I get that part that, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, he shouldn't have leaked it, absolutely, right? Like, I, I get the disappointment. I, I understand if Take-Two is gonna press charges. Okay, that part, I get it. But to call him a threat actor, to call the... 17-year-old uh, Orion, I believe that was, uh, Orion Kurtaj, I believe his name, you, you know, the initial leaker that leaked the Lucia Burda, to call him menace to society, to keep him still locked up to this day, we don't even know what happened to the guy, the last time we heard, the judge was like, okay, he's not uh, good in the head, uh, so we're gonna let him go, but then quickly after, you know, couple of quickly after a couple of days later, the judge comes out and says that, no, bro, he's mentally fit, we're gonna keep him locked. <laughs> Like, bruh, what, what the hell? I get it. Yeah, press charges. I get that. I get that. But to keep this suckers locked up for years and years straight, and to call this man that leaked uh, the trailer a day early, to call him a threat actor, bruh, what are we talking about? Holy crap, this is insanity, bro. This is insanity, man. They, these suckers are acting like that. This man murdered somebody, bro. Like, what, what are we talking, bro? What are we doing Admin here, page and seeing the unlisted video earlier, which he then downloaded, watermarked, and posted on Twitter. Apparently, this investigation was carried out by free YouTube the leaker. itself. Free the leaker. Like the video if you are with free the leaker. Or should we free the leaker? One in the comments if you should free the leaker. Two if not. I want to know where you guys are. I gotta give you guys, uh, you know, democracy, guys. You know, if you, you know, I, I almost forgot. I, I, I almost forgot. Now, nah, man, shouldn't be doing some dictatorship right here. I want to know what you guys think. I, listen, man, my vote is for free the leaker, okay? I'm saying free the leaker. He did. Something wrong, absolutely, he did that wrong, he shouldn't have leaked the Lucia Burna, I get it. We appreciate him for leaking, and we appreciate for his service, but he shouldn't have done that, I understand that. But still, man, free the leaker, bro, he's locked for, like, what, it's been two years, damn it? Almost gonna be two years, it's gonna be almost two years, he's still locked up for leaking the Lucia Burna, bro, some digital pixels. What are we doing? This person? has also been responsible for leaking other things throughout the years and allegedly was even involved with over 40 high profile sim swap attacks. <clears throat> wow, this isn't even close <clears throat> to being the first time trailers have leaked early because a leaker managed- Okay, maybe I spoke too early, maybe I spoke too early. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I spoke too early. Okay, he a professional at work. But still, man, to call him a threat actor, that's that's wildin' though. You wildin' for to that. To get into the YouTube admin page of a high-profile account, Google is reportedly looking into all of their employees to weed out any potential leaker from within the company, yeah. but so far, nothing has been made public on the front. So, we don't know exactly who this skinker person was, but the investigation is narrowing down what exactly they've been involved with in the past. The more information yeah. that is collected on their history, the easier it will be to track them down in real life, or at least that's what Take-Two is probably thinking. And if they do confirm who it is, I would not want to be that person.
their life is going to change rapidly. And other re leak related things. Of course, my guy, of course his life's gonna change. But what about GTSX Trailer 2? When are we gonna see Lucia Burna Part 2, right? Bruh. We need to see it. We need to see the GTSX Online Trailer as well. We need to see Trailer 2. And right now, apparently, everybody's believing that we're gonna be getting it by the end of this year. And it sounds real. It sounds realistic. You never know. We might not even see a trailer this year. We might see it early next year. And if that's the case, it's over. And if we see the trailer by, the, uh, let's just say, early 2025, at that point, bro, like, I, I would be 50-50 if we're getting the game, like, late 2025. I I I'll be real. I'll keep a buck 50 as, as is, uh, as Rockstar is right now. And, yeah, currently speaking, Knowing their track record, I wouldn't doubt, I, I wouldn't be shocked if they actually delay it to 2026. Thanks. I want to debunk a supposed not, leak that not. was going around the internet just last week. Leak related things. I want to debunk a supposed leak that was going around the internet just last week. Okay. If you've been following GTA 6 recently, you might have heard something about the supposed PS5 beta build that was making its mm. way around on Twitter and Reddit. Oh, that's fake. Yeah, These that's reports cap. were all stemmed from a Twitter account called Jason from GTA 6. He posted some screenshots of what seemed to be a beta for Grand Theft Auto 6, complete with a screenshot of the PS5 home screen hovering over the GTA 6 beta game icon. However, this leak has been debunked thoroughly yeah. in the last few days, and it turns out it was just a repost of a fake leak. You guys really need a debunker for that one? Come on, man. Like, you can look at it and you know it's fake, bro. It's a, it's a fan made. It's a Photoshop. Nothing wrong with that, but I, I get it. Like, uh, uh, he was acting like it was real. From a while back. Some people were excited about the prospect of a GTA 6 beta, happens. but I'm seriously, seriously doubting that that yeah, would actually ever happen. happen for a game that's as high profile like this. No, and no, the no, beta no. screenshots going around the internet? Oh, are absolutely not. But guys, check out this video on the screen. We got a ton of gameplay leaks in this video that we covered. We also talked about GTA 6 Online and all the other stuff as well. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.